Good morning, folks. It is Monday, and we're going to be working at the church all day, doing a whole bunch of other projects. So let's go. All right, so I think the first thing I need to do is get this TV back up on the pulpit. But at the same time, um, something's the matter with the brace that's holding it, as you can see. It's tilting and it won't stay in place. So I'm gonna need to take the whole TV off, tighten up the bolt, and then putting it back on, which reminds me I don't have my tools, so I gotta go back outside. So I guess the main thing is had to retighten these two because it was falling down this way. So I tightened these as much as I could, but then that's the main thing. So now time I already moved the stand back just gotta hang that back up there all right all done project number one of the day outside of dropping my daughter off at school is done now let's make our way down to the sanctuary all right I talked with the folks at the learning center they haven't finished putting their stuff together um, for me to add to their website so I will be working on well actually I need to finish up the stuff for our church stuff I didn't haven't updated our online store in two weeks which is kind of a telltale sign that folks is not using it or understanding it so I'm all about trying to find out what things are and are not needed to cut out so I'm leaning towards that as much as I don't like it I might lean away from that so I'm just checking the mail here for the media ministry then I'm heading over to the media booth now another thing that I do that I saw Sunday that I needed to do is it looks like our unify stuff needed an update now normally I have this set up to run automatically but it's the first of the month so obviously it's the ninth we didn't get a chance to do that so I'm just gonna go ahead and kick that off and as you can see there's an update here but I'm not gonna do it there I'm gonna go here to the let me put the black theme on so it's easier to see coming here we're gonna go ahead and hit the gear and we're gonna go down to maintenance and we're looking at a cloud key update firmware update and the controller I do the firmware because normally that takes care of both so we'll just go ahead and apply the update and I didn't want to do this in church because I had no idea if this was going to kick off anything in the middle of service um, our live stream or anything like that so err on the side of caution than to try and do something in the middle of service so ran the learning center is using the, using their computers right now which would affect them but they don't really use it that much because they're obviously paying attention to the children. <laughs> All right, it looks like the update was done, but the page is just sitting here. All right, we're back under maintenance. And everything's been updated. All right, so these are two of our older access points that at some point in time need to be replaced. Um, they just don't make these anymore. You can't upgrade them any further than um, 4014. I mean, they work fine. I mean, they're in the choir room where not that many people in there or the administration wing, which really a lot of people not on, they just need access to do um, Bible stuff if they're inside of Sunday school all the other areas are wired so it's just a place to add it um, let's see so those are kind of like the current positions that we have so which one what is which one do each one do excuse me um, the video director is the main person who's going to be running our video switcher PC which is running the ATEM software they pretty much direct and make quote unquote the show they're the ones that will present the information that's going to the 
ATEM, which will serve out to our live stream as well as the projectors inside the church. Um, they're the ones that decide which camera angle is going to be shown. They're the ones that can put up whenever something is being presented on Worship Extreme or Pro Presenter that's going to be put on the screen in full screen or in a type of lower thirds type of configuration. They're the ones that dictate whether videos are going to be pretty much anything that's going to be shown to the congregation physically here or online. That is what the video director does. The camera operator is, like it says, operates the cameras. They can operate multiple cameras. Um, most of the time we have one person that's going to be bouncing between three cameras, which is our left, right, and our back remote control camera. And then normally the front camera, which is not used that much, the video director sometimes jumps over there and does that. And mainly it's just getting a better angle, putting the camera on a soloist or somebody speaking or something like that. That's or guest when we have visitors and we want to put them on the screen. That's pretty much what the camera operator does. Pretty straightforward. The, the C, I mean the PCO, the presentation computer operator, is the person who handles all of the scripture, running our presentation software, putting graphics on the screen once it's coordinated with the video director, scripture, lyrics, videos, anything that needs to be presented, that is what that person is over. As well as when we get into sermon, the sermon or the message, they are the ones who are responsible of getting the sermon title, the scripture, and then also entering that information into the website as a draft for our new sermon it is the person who handles all of the sound, all of the mics, all of the instruments, how the mix sounds, everything like that. Now, again, we are not professional sound engineers, so a lot of it is faders as well as the game how loud it is how close people are to the mics that's what i like to say all right so let's get to <laughs> typing up all this stuff So I guess the hardest thing is like how to document a lot of the stuff from an operator standpoint. Um, huh. I guess for right now I'm just gonna document document what I believe each role is gonna be. Then I'm also gonna do a workflow from a typical service. So I got this program and what I'm gonna do is just go through the program and kind of highlight what a typical schedule, a generic schedule would be. So. All right, while sitting back thinking about doing this whole list, I just thought about it. How about instead of me just wasting my time, well not, I wanna say wasting my time. Instead of me doing this, what I'm gonna do is during the media ministry meeting, give them an opportunity to walk through all of that together as a team and we build out that so that way everybody knows and they've added to like oh i didn't i forgot about that so it's, it's they're a part of it instead of just reading a list that was been done so i think that would be something easier now i came back i did this earlier in the day i just want to make sure it was tightened up enough that it didn't fall so it's good that it didn't so we just kind of all that stuff was tightened up back there overly tightened and we're good so just for those who may not have seen when we installed this originally we redid I redid the sound system in here and replaced the speakers and all this other stuff so we don't have a way to easily do this right now um, but this cable here is plugged in right here is the audio out and I got this cable from Amazon. It's a stereo to XLR, male XLR. So this, when we, the whole plan was during the um, Bible trivia thing is to run that here and it just hooks up to a regular mic jack. That's why I got that extra long cable. Plug it into there, turn the sound system on. So when you hear that fire come, or the buzzer, the music, and all that other stuff like that. It'll come in through the house and it'll be in surround sound, super loud. Um, and I think it'll be really cool as well. And since there's internet in here, 
Well, actually, I don't need internet. I was gonna say I could have it connect to Worship Extreme, but most likely the Worship Stream computer would be sitting back behind here connected with that long HDMI cable, and then I can control it from my tablet or my phone. So I can see the questions and the answers, and I can tap and show what will be on the screen at a given time. So ultimately, that's what I'm aiming for, but I think based on how things are going right now for the first trial run of this we're gonna be in the multi-purpose room so what we're gonna do is do the same setup but it's gonna be here instead gonna be on this TV hook up everything into here so we'll still be able to do the same thing won't have as much sound system in it but I think it will still work. All right, so I'm just getting here, setting up. Gonna prop this door open because I don't think it's unlocked so that everybody can get here. Media ministry meeting is about in about 10 minutes. I um, pretty much was talking to my pastor about the Bible trivia stuff. And I think, like I said, um, I'm going to try and record a little bit of our meeting. But like I said, I think the main thing what I'm going to do is collaboratively have everybody work together to develop our generic schedule. So that way it's jogging everybody's memory on what's needed, as well as this is going to be our checklist for anybody else that's coming on board as well as for us so we'll have a checklist to know make sure we got everything in order all right so i think the meeting went very well um, i gotta put everything together that we talked about which was mainly just a um a list of how things need to work in the order they need to go. Um, I'm here trying to get some mayo from the grocery store because I'm trying to make some hamburger helper for dinner and I don't really need a lot. I just need some a small little container of it and then to see what else we're gonna get into. So um, I appreciate y'all watching. Thank y'all for all y'all new subscribers um, and what we're gonna be doing is well, I mean, I was getting ready to end it, but let me cut over to my computer and I'm going to show you what we ended up coming up with. All right, real quick. I was going to show y'all everything that we, the final product of what we did at our media ministry meeting, but I left it at church, so I won't be able to show you the final result until um, Wednesday when I'm back there at church. Um, so, sorry about that, but... Um, we had a little bit more fun than we needed to. I only got through about maybe 60 to 70% of what I wanted to go through, but it was good, had a good turnout. And um, again, we're just laying the found, um, foundation, I was saying, get ready to say found work, <laughs> groundwork and foundation, um, found work. I, I think I like that, found work. Anyway, setting down the foundation for um, anybody else to come behind us so we have a, a SOP a standard operating procedure of how we do everything generically so that at least that's the baseline of how we can easily repeat what we're doing so that we can step up and have a more quality product if you want to call it that so anyway that's about it I'm gonna get into some other stuff tomorrow and pretty much I'm gonna be working from home all day working on websites and we're going to come up with something else to help y'all out. Um, probably do some more, like I said, website stuff for y'all. Because um, I said I'm in the process of moving my websites over as well. Um, maybe we might talk about something like that. Or we're going to talk about something else hopefully to get you get some more stuff for y'all to help grow your media ministry. Because the whole goal is to get better every day. You're not competing with anybody else except for yourself from yesterday. So anyway, if you like this type of content, I'd appreciate a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ, and we will see you 
tomorrow. Later.